Hey, you want to smoke some weed, Jerry? <laughs> oh, wait, you probably can't see this. <laughs> I, I can't see what? Oh, shit, I still have Pride Month in my <laughs> tweets and shit. <laughs> I didn't mean, I meant to take it out. Oh, well. Oh, wait. I, oh, wait, I was still streaming it. I'm an idiot. As you can see, Jerry, you want to smoke some weed? <laughs> Anyways, we're actually going to choose the next game. Which is Mold. Jack and Sarah live on a farm isolated from everything. When and someone leaves a mystery box on their doorstep, things start to get weird. Inside the box is an ancient amulet whose origin is unknown. The amulet has a terrible curse. The... Well, it gets cut off. Oh, shit. <laughs> we don't get to know everything. Oh, well. We'll probably find out. Mode. <laughs> it came about six ten. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this game looks nice, but I have a feeling the plot will also be particularly lazy. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun playing the games. Yeah, they look fun. I like a shotgun. <laughs> Shotguns are actually very good to have on a farm. You never know what might attack your cattle, what might attack your crop, what might attack your house. People may have made jokes about the person who said they need a uh, gun for shooting the wild pigs, but wild pigs are really dangerous. And you need a very strong gun to take one down. Yeah. Also, speaking of pigs... PIGS! Yes. The gentler version of a wild pig. Alright, we have Jimmy... But not wild pig. We have Jimmy, Timmy, and Adolf. No. <laughs> no. No. Booker, if you're here, clip that. <laughs> I don't care if you call them Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo or whatever else. Just don't call them specific things. You know the thing. How the fuck did I miss them? That means I'm playing as That's the woman. That's probably your dad or brother or something. Because there's a woman name and a male name. Oh my gosh, she actually programmed another game being played. That's actually kind of cool. As far as I'm aware, this, these group of people it, it only make horror like games. It's a game in a game. It looks like it's a gif of a game. Within the game, it'll probably run on a loop. Yeah, I think it is on a loop. But that is kind of cool, though. Yeah, it's on a loop. Oh my gosh, it's Jack set the guy. No, it's not Jack set the guy. <laughs> Good morning, dear. Do you need anything? I do. Can you go into town to buy food? All right, honey, I'm going now. God. Got a nice ass. Are you staring at his pixelated butt? <laughs> Did he just 
walk through the door? <laughs> yeah. Is that your character's husband? He can walk through doors. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see how they drive. Uh, that's a good question. Sam! <laughs> You're not I think he just got teleported. There's a bunch of doors up here. I'm gonna feed the pigs. They must be hungry. Yay! <laughs> you okay, Jerry? I think I just sang with food. How can I feed pigs? Oh, that's right. I type. I shove in human corpses. Go to the barn. The barn will probably have food for the pig. The barn is not your house. The car is not a barn. Pig wash. It, it's. I'm right. This is human flesh in this bucket. No, that is not human flesh. But they're still in the bags! <laughs> Ow. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's night to What the fuck? <laughs> Red skies usually don't tell good things. Well, I'll try to turn some lights on. Well, every time I saw Red Skies, usually bad storms happened. Well, why did you turn lights on? My lights are on. Not all of them! Not all of them! <laughs> he just pees through the car! <laughs> In the door. <laughs> also, why do you need to go grocery shopping? We got plenty of food right here. Look, we even got Doritos. Let's go to sleep, dear. Sleep. Like... Back towards the stairs. Oh, right over here. No, not my bed. Wait, if we're living together, why... Why do we have separate beds? Maybe your siblings. Do I just have to wait for him to get in the bed? I think he has some problems getting in bed. He vanished into bed. <laughs> Alright, now I have to quickly jack him off. No kidding. <laughs> Wait, you gotta handle that morning wood. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Box, who left this here? I'll put it on the table. 
It's like an ancient amulet. Weird. Who would lead this here? I would say things, but I don't want to hear you getting mad. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Anyway, shout out my little three little piggies. You still haven't finished your food. You Probably because it's still wrapped up. Why did you just go abla 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 espanol? Dear, have you gotten out of bed? And the answer is yes. You don't know why you said abla 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 espanol? <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Do you need water? <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. Hello, dear. This image is beautiful. Looks like gold. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. The shape They left this on our door. Market. I don't know what, what it is. Look at the amulet, dude. It could be a gift. Now it'll be my good luck charm. It looks kind of like. Right? What was that? I'm talking to Spood about the amulet shape. Why is he getting a shotgun? Why is he getting a shotgun? Honey, I'm gonna hunt some animals for dinner. I don't want to want to kill our pigs. It's okay, love. Be careful. Uh... You, you can so kill- He goes off the hunt as soon as he wears the dick-shaped amulet, okay. Yeah, check is a little weird, weird. I'll feed the pigs and wait for him to come back. Look, you can kill the Adolf pig, but you, you can keep Timmy and Jimmy alive. Right. <laughs> Don't name any of the pigs that. <laughs> no, no. Right, okay. just weird. Now I'm gonna wash the dishes. <laughs> also, I feel like whoever made this game has never visited a single farm in their entire lives. Mm. Gotten dark. I guess you're a slow dishwasher. You're really dark. There's not many dishes. It's only two fucking people. Oh, there's husband. <laughs> well, okay then. Did you find any food? I didn't kill any animals. I'm tired, dear. I'm going to bed. Uh. He killed people. He's still wearing the dick amulet. Definitely sleep in a separate bed. Looking weird after he started wearing this amulet. You don't say! Did he actually get taller? No. Was he gonna stop looking like Jack Set the guy? No, he doesn't look like Jack Set the guy. Jack, where are you, dear? I mean, his name is Jack. Shit. Bad time around. Right that guy's not Irish. We don't know that. Yes, we do. How? I 
I mean, where'd you go? No, don't you dare tell me you want to kill the piggies. Don't tell me you're gonna run outside. Jack, what are you doing? Doing standing there. What? Where? I don't see him. Oh. Oh! Uh, he said just with the amulet, he painted its dick shape on the wall. <laughs> Saturday morning. I must be going crazy. Well, we'll see if it's still there. The power still hasn't come back. Oh, yeah, it's not there. Oh, uh -huh. I s Mold. This one must have some water infiltration. <gasps> I gotta check on the piggies. Oh, I can't leave. What the fuck? A police car is coming. I Whoa, now I'm getting more pigs. Right. <laughs> Don't insult your farm pigs. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. Came here to report that a child was killed yesterday one mile from here. Hey, uh, morning, policeman. My God, what happened? You still know what happened. Poor child. He was shot with a shotgun. This is terrible. What kind of monster would do that to a child? He would do terrible things. If you know anything, call me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day. Why does the police officer look so dead? Uh, yeah. what did the policeman want? He know one about a murder of a child. Who who would do that, dear? People are freaking out. And the boot cop quickly left the second he came down. I'm going out hunting, honey. I'll be back later. Are you gonna kill more people? Pretty sure he's the one who killed the kid. Yeah. Oh, they actually failed to eat the food this time. Jack is starting to scare me. I'm gonna feed the pigs. Wait, why is the feed outside? Why did Jack lock this door? Uh. Honey, did you kill more people than just a child? I'm trying to clean the mold. I'll try to clean the mold on the wall. Oh, it got bigger. Yep. Oh, multiple! Yeah, you didn't know there was multiple? Yeah, there was multiple spots. Oh, three! I'm not sure there's some Three upstairs. There might be some upstairs, I don't know. Anyways, where's the goddamn cleaning supplies? That looks like food. Are there any upstairs? Yeah, there is. One up here. And another one right here. I'm trying to see where the goddamn cleaning supplies are. Maybe check the bathroom. Yeah, lights won't help. Cause it's blackout. Well, I mean, I can probably set the mold on fire. Oh, 
Oh. Oh my gosh, I use a cloth to get rid of mold. That's not how that works. You need something way more intense than cloth. Yeah, like fire. No. There's another one. There. And one last one over. Oh, that got big. There. Ah, done. Okay, if the police comes by tomorrow, that more stuff about people being shot with shotguns, we know it's him. Oh, you didn't face through the door this time. He's not saying anything to me. Oh, and the mold's back. Like I said, wiping it with a cloth ain't gonna work. I actually do know, I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but in another house I used to live in, uh, there was actually a spot of black mold, if you know what that is. Black mold can kill you. Yeah. So, they had to seal off the entire room to keep it from spreading. And they had to cut wall bits of walls off to get it away. You know what I mean? Like, Are you gonna look in the yeah the really sad shed that's supposed to be a barn? Yeah, that's what she said. She said, "I'm gonna find out now." Also, how is this lighter working in the rain? We don't have oh. to have game logic. Are you just gonna pretend like you didn't My god, that? Jack, what did you do? Please let sleep in a separate room. Oh my god, black there's mold everywhere. You went on the floor. Bed for bed. Bed for bed. And he's gone. I'm dead. And shotgun's gone. They're nowhere downstairs. Meaning they're in the attic. <laughs> A week later. a police officer. Dear God! How are you guys still alive? <laughs> well, your character's husband does not want to kill the pigs. That's why they're alive. One hell? Oh. Why are you shooting 
the book. Okay? I have no more ammo. Oh, there's one there. I'm probably gonna die because of it. God, what happened here? Oh, what he's dead. Happened? Yeah, but he's not wearing the 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 dick amulet. Yeah. Please help me. Can't take it anymore. Kill me. The thing is, I can't. You're not supposed to kill her. Talk to her. I can't. That's it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to shoot her. The thing is, I can't do anything. <laughs> You mean your tendency to not finish before you do something has caught up to you? Yeah, now. Maybe you shouldn't shoot everything? Oh, I mean, if I could pick up the goddamn shotgun. Why would you pick up the shotgun as a police officer? I don't know if there's a restart button. Main menu? Continue last game. Maybe? That will reset everything? Ow. Wait. Yes, it will! Okay. Don't shoot anyone. What happened here? Please help me. I can't take it anymore. Kill me. Yep, that's what I had to do. Okay. Four days before. Monster isn't Jack anymore. He needs to die. Well, that's great. Could have told me. This is Jack. He said that. Oh, he's not there this time. Maybe that was supposed to happen. He scared me before I can kill him. I got scared. I just peered around the corner. He was right there. Well, you have unlimited chances to murder your murderous husband. Okay, how does that fair? How is that fair? You can do it. That last run, I got so lucky. Hehe. <laughs> Some bullshit. 
my shots and he's needed to kill him. Don't worry, your character is a spry young woman. You'll be able to shoot your murderous husband yet. Maybe there's a weapon in the kitchen. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun's good. Bitch! One more for extra mission. Sarah was forced to kill her own husband. After killing him, she was possessed by by mold. Her skin be began to slowly rot. When police found her, there was no way to save her anymore. Cursed email must never be used by anyone. There is no turning back. Oh. Well, you know what? She stopped her crazy husband from killing more people, so... Yeah. So, oh well. Ready for Poop Killer 4? No, I'm kidding. The rest of the Poop Killer games aren't in this game. In this hat. Sorry. Anyway, a flamboyant killer. A tedious job. A night too quiet to be true. Steve works at a mi mini market at night, isolated from the city. When you come across a different psychopath, Rip. Yeah. Hey, at least I got a bunch of clips from that. We'll have to see them later. I mean, I do have all the other packs, so we'll eventually see them. The clown's fun. All right, can the music stop? Thank you. I sleep here? Damn, I'm poor as fuck. <laughs> Cigar 1000. <laughs> Damn, the game got too real. <laughs> hey, Bookworm, if you get more than nine of these, you'll have six heart over 9,000. I might actually be able to get through this entire pack before I end the stream. Then again, I think I'm not I'm supposed to be doing something. Because I'm not getting any customers. Oh wait, never mind, there's a customer. Wait, why does a convenience store need a table? I've never seen a convenience store with a table before. I swear, if, someone, if one of them asks to take a shit... If we raid anyone, we gotta use the poop killer in the raid words. Oh my god. Yeah. Your face is very pixelated. Good night, bro. This beer 
is alcohol free, right? I'm driving and I don't want to cause an accident. The beer. I wonder, is beer alcohol free? You know, sir, the beer is not alcoholic. Would you like anything else? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, that's all. How much do I owe you? Beer, beer costs one dollar. That's some cheap beer. Here's my friend. Keep the change. Can I ask you a question? Thank you very much. Of course you can ask. Aren't you afraid of working here alone? Even that crazy killer on the loose? Or else it's off pretty immediately proven wrong. You'd love to see it. Let me guess, you're gonna clip that. <laughs> I confess I'm afraid, but I need work. Okay. Have a good job. Good night. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna make the poop, even though I wouldn't usually, I'm gonna make the poop killer games that I played on here, like, their own videos, because of how funny they are. Oh my gosh. I just realized something funny. What if I made a t-shirt with the poop? Poop killer fighting the craze butt stabber. <laughs> hey, I like one of those wrestling match t-shirts where you, where it, it, it like advertises a fight and whatnot. Just <laughs> be poop killer friends with the crease but step. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> You know what? Since nothing's happening right now, let me go ahead and check on the Bustamine. Yep, you ruined the bed, Bustamine. I see you. <laughs> okay, I'm bored. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna start doing my chores. Oh. Are my chores? Hey Steve, I won't be able to be in store today. I have a lot to do. Don't forget to to do your homework and please do it in order. I'll show you. Collect shopping carts from the parking lot. Sweep the floor. Take out the garbage. This <laughs> goes to the location. Okay. I need to go outside, but I can't. Motherfucker, why did you leave it all the way out here? Like, what's the purpose of doing this? Fucking assholes. Yes, I love him. Okay. Someone's fucking in that car. Got it.
sweep the floor. Wait a minute. Nope, I don't have to take that one. Okay, how do I how do I stop? And right there, trash. Okay, so trash that makes take out the garbage. Oh wait, I wonder if there's the person coming by. Person coming by, person coming by, person coming by, person coming by. She come in my ass and come by and come by. Yes, you are. She hears that annoying beggar again. I'll give you free food if you fuck my ass. <laughs> hey, Steve. How's my friend doing? I'm so hungry, man. Get me something to eat there. You again, Will? I already told you I can't give you can't give you anything. I am working. What's up, man? Give me something there. I'm so hungry. I can I e eat even a stone. I can't, man. Want me to get be fired? Please go away. I as well. Nobody helps anybody else. Take care, Steve. He doesn't forgive. Sir, where are you going? And I'll trash this then. Turn goods to the location. Who's that freak standing outside? I got in the car. Or it disappeared. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Hell, his dick could have been run over by the car for all I care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just work here. <laughs> really, bookworm? That didn't work. This time, at least. Anyways, hello, Ryan Reynolds. Hi, I would like a pack of cigarettes, please. Good night, sir. You see that my crazy guy standing out in front was wearing a crown mask? I'm sorry, I, I didn't, but I didn't see anyone. I think you're working too, working too young. Wait, what? It must just be my imagination. It scares me to work here at night and alone. Should we just give me a pack of cigarettes? I I'm a little late. Oh yeah, sure, I'll take it. Thank you and take care. I 
my car kid? I'm gonna finish turning these products into ink con please. I am assuming con please. Police station, I can help you. Good night, policeman. My name is Steve, and I think that someone is watching me at work. Yeah, I'll just send the policeman over there. At the mini market, JK Avenue 179. Don't worry, the policeman will come to you soon. Um. Steve from Minecraft? Oh. Or is it Steve from Blue's Clues? Look where I'm. Stop wearing the clown mask. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> I'm fucking bored. It's I just did all my chores. Yay! Oh, the police car! Ha! <laughs> Screw you, bookworm, I got the police! Even under one second, I can do anything. Anti-fascist <laughs> chop chop. What's he doing? Sir? What are you doing? He's just standing there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hiding. Yay, a peak died. Bookworm, please don't kill me. Bookworm, you can have the money and register as long as you don't kill me. Why can you ask me? The money and register. Okay, it takes the whole register. Am I supposed to take his car? Honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, yeah, he, he, he's dead. Now what? channels. Put 
Sagittarius business team, my business is so shit, on the other hand, it's not so easy. But off, they like doing this for the throw of the game. I'm gonna have to go to this car, I think. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna get sodomized. Hey Steve and welcome to our marathon of, of fun games. You'll go through some games and your survival is up to you. <laughs> Here are the rules. You have a total of 100 points. You'll have to use it very wisely if you want to make it to the end. If the points reach zero, an explosive device on your neck will explode. <laughs> so let's go to the first game. In front of you is your best friend Alfred. He has a shotgun pointed at his head. There are two levers. One gives life, and the other takes life. If you kill him, you only lose 10 points. And the door opens to continue. If you leave him alive, you'll lose 30 points, and have a companion to continue the game. Come on, Steve. Take your pick. Chat. Dead or alive? What do we do? What do we do? Chat, dead or alive? Wait on the chance answer. Dead or alive? Dead or alive? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Dead or alive? Dead. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Ten points removed. What the fuck? What's the point of this one? Hi Steve, good to see you again. Now let's go to the second stage of, your, of our game. Now let's see how much you want to live. How much meat is available to donate to go to heaven? Next to the table is a scale, and it needs to be fed meat. You can rip your arm off and go away to heaven, but it'll cost you 30 points. But if your friend Alfred still has its wits about him, you can rip his arm off and go down the road to hell. The bright side is that this will only cost you 10 points. Take your pick, Steve. <laughs> Keep me shut, Jesus. Because he was on a cross. Alright, chat. Heaven or hell? What are we doing? So, so the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. Where are we going? Heaven or hell? Hell? Alright. Oh, I can't, because Alfred's dead. Oh. Nice. 
Why are you going this slow? Do it fast, you dumb motherfucker. Thirty points removed. <laughs> what the fuck? Glad to see you in the final s in the final, Steve. Now onto the last test. This is an easy game. Let's see if you're lucky. Just enter a password to open the door and go. Password is three digits. One eight five. You need to get the get the order right. But of course, for every wrong attempt, you lose ten points. <laughs> I was forgetting. The walls also close and crush you in less than two minutes. <laughs> Good luck. One, two, okay, so one, wait, so this will be eight, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, five, fail, back, five, one, eight, Yes! Ha! Fuck you! Congratulations, you escaped! Is it Bobo? Is this clown like to make 5% or is it Bobo? Probably Bobo. Yeah, fuck you, bitch! I'm out! But I was my friend. Actually, yeah, there's no way I'll be able to finish it tonight. There's way too many. Okay, so the next one is... The Elevator. Josh has been working a hotel front desk for a week on the night shift. And realizing that the elevator of this place there is a mystery, he begins to investigate to find out what is happening. Now here's the thing, the death of my friend isn't on my hands, it's on yours. Uh, so you just killed Momo, Bookworm. How do you feel? Whoa, what the fuck? The elevator's kind of weird. Excuse you. That still doesn't explain this weird woman. On the camera. Oh, she's gone. And go on the elevator. Or not. Oh. 
Good evening, sir. I'm staying at room 105. My name is Kara Musa. Assistance, sure. Let me check. Yep, you are there. Alright. Alright, you can go up, sir. Thank you, and good night. I like how Booker hasn't responded to the fact that said that they killed Momo in the previous game. Shit, I, this elevator is driving me crazy. Oh, I can't go inside. Oh, it's, it's her again. Can I help you? Yeah, depending on how long this goes, it might be my last game. Cause I have to do work tomorrow, as much as I'm gonna hate it. But I need money, so yes, I'm gonna have to do work. Okay, I'm getting bored. What the fuck am I supposed to do? The elevator's still open this time. Ah, oh, there's another customer. Oh, it's Lord Blackwood. So oh, friend, I say this here this morning. I was sleepy. Can I go to my room? So, sir, let me check. And then I was around it. And then Alan Allen. And then Alan Alonso. Whoops, wrong button. What I, what is happening? Oh no! I have broke the game. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you can go up, sir. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> We're not gonna question the part where I broke it, bookworm. Okay. Why am I staying stuck in the corner? It's just normal for you playing games. Shut up. Scott Cawthon. Hey man, I want to go to my rooms soon. I'm Scott. Just a second, sir. I'll check. See a Scott there. No Scott there. 
there's no sky on this mist. There's on this, I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself, you son of a bitch. Jesus! You're not on the goddamn list. So go fuck yourself. We need to fix this elevator soon. I'm in the elevator. Going crazy. I'm working too hard. Hello, welcome to Prostitute Heaven. How can I help you? Hey Josh, can I go to my room? I'm too tired. I'm gonna slice up. Give me a moment. Yep, he's on the list. Alright, you can go up, sir. Good night and good work, friend. Yeah, most likely by the time I finish this, it'll be end of stream. Finally! Hotel 616, Josh, how can I help you? Good night, Josh. This is Detective Hoffman. I'm going to alert you to a murderer on the loose. Detective, can I on the loose? We're calling all the hotels in the area. He is. He's a dangerous guy. The victims are all children. My guy, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect a tall, bald, bearded man. God, can you tell me more about him? Curtis Christian, such a tall, beard man. Thanks for our warning, detective. I keep an eye out. Thank you for your attention, Josh. Good night. They repeated the lines twice. Oh, that's not freaky. Go in the elevator again. Nothing? Okay. I'm crazy. I'm working too hard. You've already said that before. Can I actually go up the stairs? No. <laughs> I have to work. I can't relax. Huh. Lost child. Hello, sir. Let me quickly, Josh. I'll be back soon. Um, I have a feeling he's the killer.
It's not 12.55. Otherwise, I'd be asleep right now. Fuck it, we're going in the elevator. Never mind, we're not going in the elevator. I got boxes of grenades. How fitting. I'm bored to mother all oh, fucking hell. Where do I go? What do I do? Oh, there we go. Oh, hi there. Um, just gonna go this way. Fuck with that, I'm freaking out. I was right, Bookworm. I was fucking right. Just go ahead and praise me on my intelligence. So much just because the character says, I'll notify the police. Often, how can I help you? Hi, right, sir. This is Josh from the front desk of Hotel 616. Hey, Josh, do you have something important for me? There's a guest here who matches the characters of the assassin. He has just left the hotel. Thanks for the info. I'll send a friend over to check it out. Uh-oh. He didn't even use the same door. Why? Is something happened, Josh? She looked very nervous. Oh, no, buddy. It's okay. How's your walk? Figurating. Are you sure you're okay? You're sweating. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just tired. You're hiding something. Aren't we friends? I hide anything. I already told you everything's fine. Yeah, just go upstairs. This one was close. He is very suspicious. Well, don't say that out loud, you dumb fuck. Is the elevator door open? Oh, yeah. Let's shiver from the top of the elevator. Jesus Christ. Got the scene. This scene will never get out of my head. Can a police friend hurry the fuck up? Or I get murdered? 
finding the dead body. Ow. Nope. I died. <laughs> 